Hi, this is the sixth part on the course on consuming REST API and Dart and Flutter. In the previous video, we saw how we can create nodes in our API in our node modify page. And today we're going to see how we can update a node that we have using the put request. So in the put request, we need to send a node ID, obviously the API key, which we need to send for every request. And we need to send the node title and the node content. All right, so we have most of the logic already in place when it comes to editing and stuff. So let's go into our notes service. And now we have all of the actions. We have the get note list, the get note, the create note. Now we should implement the update note. So again, I'm going to copy a lot of this code since pretty much a big part of it is going to be the same. So now we have this note insert model. And if you may notice over here, when we have our update logic and our actually our update request and our create request, they have the exact same requirements for the body. So we can just use this note insert model, but I'm going to rename it to note manipulation. All right. So now let me save that and the name of the class is now a little more accurate. So now let's rename this method to update note. And we also need to change some stuff. So since I said over here that we need to send the note ID to the API, we have to add the note ID over here and we will add it to the path that we're sending to the API. So add a slash and plus note ID, same as in our get note request. So the reason we need to send the ID to our node API is because we need to specify which node we are updating. We cannot just send the model into the wild and expect the API to update the node based on the title or something, because we may have two nodes with identical titles. So we need to send the node ID to the API. And pretty much all of this code is going to say the same except for the status code check. So here we are checking if the status code is 201, but this is not correct because our API, when it successfully updates a resource, returns a 204 response. So let's just change that and the rest of the code can say the same. Now let me save this and go back to the note modify page. Now we can go to our submit button and implement the logic for updating a note. So now I'm going to copy all of this code that we have over here for creating a note. And again, we're just going to modify it a little bit. So if is editing, set the state to loading, note manipulation stays the same. But now we're not creating the note, we are updating the note. And we are sending the note, but we are also sending the note ID. And we have the note ID, I think we need to get it from the widget. Yeah, it's getting passed into the constructor over here. So yeah, let me just go back down. All right, and here, instead of your note was created, we can say your note was updated. And the rest of the code can stay the same. Now, here we have a lot of code repetition, which we can kind of get rid of. But for now, let's just save this and run the app so we can see if this works or not. All right, so here we have our app up and running. But one thing I forgot to do is go to the note list widget. And here we are opening our note modify page when we are trying to update a note, but we are not refetching our notes after the note is updated. So we need to do that real quick. So I'll just use the dot then method on the future class. And now I can just say fetch notes and that should be good enough. So now let's go to our first note that says welcome and let's change the title to welcome update and click submit and here we have some kind of an error that occurred so let's see let me go to note modify update note note id note let me go to the service and see what we got as a response we got 405 oh we messed up because oh we need to use the put method instead of the post method i just forgot to change that so yeah let me save this and i'm just going to restart the app just to make sure all right, now let's go to the welcome and let's say welcome update, click submit and our note was updated. And as we can see, our note is getting updated successfully. All right, so that's pretty much it. In the next part, we're going to see how we can delete notes from our application.